right guys um so today i want to talk about genesis chapter 1 verse 9 and it reads and god said let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear and it was so so like i um, previously talked about um we are basically in heaven and God called the firmament heaven and the where we are in um, the collection of people on earth is um, there are higher spirits and there are lower spirits and the division of spirits is reflected in the division of the waters in this chapter so um, the waters under the firmament, the spirits that are under the heaven, under the firmament, I think they they should be gathered unto one place. They're together. They they stick together. They they need to be together. Like misery loves company. Um, negative energy feeds off of negative energy. But in that atmosphere. In that condition of the spirit there's dry land there you can't really grow anything on dry land you can't produce fruit on dry land dry land is mentioned multiple times throughout the Bible and it represents um, land or spirituality or the existence of spirit without life and God is life. And without the spirit of Jesus Christ, there is no access to God. So, um, the existence of waters under the firmament, low spirits, it it is in a place of dry land. It's in a place where you can't produce. You can't produce from a place of low, in, in a low spirit. You can't, you can't be fruitful when you haven't pursued your higher self and you haven't done the work that you need to do to reach your highest level of spirituality because um, you'll end up being surrounded and being engulfed in things and people who are not um, a part of your purpose and a part of God's purpose for your life. So I feel like in this verse, God was, you know, I mean, it, it reflects the same concept reflects in Genesis as um, throughout the Bible when it comes to pursuing your spirituality. This is what the scripture speaks to me. And um, I believe that the, the understanding of Genesis chapter one, the understanding that you um, need to pursue um, the spiritual healing necessary and the building of your spirit self to reach your God self to produce life to be fruitful and multiply on earth I feel like it's reflected in Genesis 1 in the beginning in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and he created um, the carnal life and the spirit life and through the spirit life through Jesus Christ the spirit life through that that way, um, we can um, pursue our God self and fulfill the purposes, the purpose on our lives. So um, that's it for that. And um, tomorrow night, we'll talk about Genesis um, chapter 1, verse 10. You guys have a blessed night.